Blushing brown. I like browns. I like brown. Hello, hello, hello. I am bringing you an elf haul right now. I actually placed two different orders on e.l.f., strangely back to back and close to each other, and when I had all this stuff, I thought I should film it because it's a lot of e.l.f. makeup and it's very exciting. The first package I already tore into a little, although I haven't really had the chance to use it or anything. This is a little tore into, but let's start with that one. I was excited because I got the e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Aqua Mousse Foundation in Fair Light. I am pumped to use this. I like other stuff from their Aqua Beauty line. It suits my dry skin type. It suits my like for light makeup. As in like not heavy. So yeah, I'm excited to try out this foundation. Their serum foundation is probably literally my favorite foundation, even compared to much more expensive stuff. I know it's a controversial statement. I know there are people out there that that does not suit, that do not like it, but it is probably my favorite foundation period, making it very exciting to try this one. I also picked up the finishing powder in Fair Light. Look how mirrory that is. Ooh. I heard this recommended, so I'm excited to try it. It seems like a really silky powder. Got a nice little poof. You know, it's elf, so you know it's all affordable. I'm excited. I didn't even show you the size of the boxes. Look at these boxes. I got two boxes. I got this one. And the postman said, girl, you're buying too much makeup. And so he kicked this one. He just smashed it and he threw it at me and he left and he said, stop learning stuff online. It wasn't very nice. All right, back to the goods. Oh, here's the packaging. Yeah, the, it's beautifully bare. Maybe beautifully bare and aqua beauty are different lines. Hmm. I think of them as the same because they've got a similar thing going on. Okay, other things I got. Oh, I got the palette for Beautifully Bare. This Natural Glow Face Palette. I have the other e.l.f. palettes. I have the Cream Contour. I have the Illuminating. I have the Blush. I have the Powder Contour. They're all very nice. I wouldn't say any of them have necessarily made it to like... Oh my god, I gotta have it kind of status for me. But, you know, they're affordable and I like them a lot. And I definitely don't regret getting them. Do you like the other ones? It looks like it pushes them out. Yeah, you could. So you can totally like mix and match their little palettes too, which is a super cute stick. Yay! I got a smudge pot. I actually haven't had any of their smudge pots that I've like super jived with, but I want to so badly. So I got another one. This is back to basics. I just like the idea of smudge pots so much, but I think I'm like even basicer. Yeah, it looks like a pretty metallic-y color. So that'll, I'll give that some use, we'll see. I don't know what made me want it, but I wanted an eyebrow product, wax pencil in neutral brown. It was inexpensive. What can I say? I got the Velvet Matte Lipstick in Blushing Brown. It seems like a pretty shade. I like their lipsticks. I like their brushes a lot, so I got me some more brushes. The Eyeshadow C Brush, which I'm sure I've had before, just decided I needed another one. And the Blush Brush. I like their brushes. Ooh, this I was strangely excited about more than I should be. The Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder Palette in the shade Saint Lucia. I don't know why, but this was one that I like kept having my eye on, but like never got. Yeah, it's, you have those things where it's like you just refuse. So this is it. No, I cannot have it. I have not been good enough. So this is that. I think it was one of those things where it's like, I know I don't need it. I have blush. I have bronzer. I just wanted it. Look how pretty it looks. It's got a nice mirror. Maybe we should put a little blush on with our new blush brush. Blush brush. Yeah, their brushes are nice. They're inexpensive. If they die, they die and you're not going to have a conniption. Ooh, much powdery. It made so much of a difference, right? It's like, it's even with my left side of my face. How does it even stand itself? Much blush. I'm pleased. Oh, I got two more things in this box. The clay eyeshadow palette and necessary nudes. It's like, it was necessary. 
Yeah, I have nudes, but these were necessary nudes. Get off my back. I have had some of these palettes before. Yeah, they're nice, no complaints. Except for the fact that they like to ruin your nails. Girl, you have this. To be fair, I'm pretty sure that a good amount of this was like one of those. You know how they're always like giving you freebies? And we have another blush in Mellow Mauve, which I'm also so sure I already have. Let's just not do that. Somebody can have it nice without me destroying it. Okay, so that's box number one. Box number two, the Smashter one. So, you know, this I'm pretty sure was one where F Elf was doing, what, maybe a 50% off sale? But every single time they do it, it's like I'm stalking to see what new items. Cause they'll exclude the newest items from the percent off. So it's always like, okay, what is now old enough that you're including it that I don't have and that I won't. And that's what I got. <laughs> This is the Prep and Hydrate Balm, which I've heard so much gushing love for. And now I will try it. I love this color. Mm, it's like my power color. I love it. It's so pretty. I've had their um, moisturizer stick, which I think is probably pretty similar. Oh, this has a nice, like, cool feel, though. Mm. Ooh, nice. Let's try it. Let's try it. Just all... Ooh. Yay. That's one way that I've used their daily, daily moisture stick that is similar to this, is to just like dab it under the eyes a little when they get dry throughout the day. I got the Aqua Beauty Radiant Gel Lip Tint in the Red Orange Wash. I know I have at least one of these, but I honestly don't remember. I don't even know if I've actually used it. And I needed more. It seems pretty. I like red oranges and oranges and reds and red oranges and oranges and reds. A foundation, the Flawless Finish Foundation. I know this is a favorite to some and I've never tried it. I got this in the shade Alabaster, which I'm pretty sure is a new shade, a new lightest shade that they added. And I'm quite certain I've played with this in store before. And that I liked it, but I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as the serum, which I bought the serum, and I told you I love that foundation. So maybe this will be like its full coverage friend. Not one to come. It's got a nice pump, but it does not want to pump. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that is full coverage, I think. That should be a good shade. It seems nice. I got the Pout Perfector. Let's put that on. Let's perfect my pout. The Pout Perfector. This is in the shade Glow, but I'm, I'm pretty confident it's the only thing. It's very glittery looking. I looked at it in the store and thought about it before, and then this was the time to actually get it. Let's see. Let's perfect my pout. Let's just put a little in the middle. What do we think? Is it more perfecter now? Is it perfected or now? Perfecta. Cheese. Oh, I was gonna say, and I got another one, but no. This is the High Shine Liquid Lipstick in Bitten Pink. If you've noticed, I made a video on these High Shine Liquid Lipsticks because I loved them so much, but I didn't have this shade, but now I do, and it looks so pretty. I wish I had put on the Pop Perfector. I'd put on this instead. Maybe I'll put this on anyway. Yeah, let's do that. This looks really pretty. No, it'll be too messy. It's too messy. It's too messy. I'm gonna save you for another time, but it looks really nice. I got this cream eyeliner in teal tees because it's wacky and I think it'll be pretty. What do we think? Pop. Yeah, that'll be fun. I got the luminous, beautifully bare, luminous matte Luminous Matte, got it all, best of both worlds right there. It says it, makeup primer with acai berry. People have recommended this. It seemed exciting. Let's see, okay, it's white. Just looks like a primer, but I will totally try this out and hopefully it's awesome. It's got like a kind of a baby product smell to it. Like kind of baby powdery. Oh, it feels really nice in my hand now. That's promising. I got their Elf Micellar Water. 
I use my cellar water in the mornings. I usually wash wash my face at night and then just a little micellar water in the morning. I've used a lot of them and I wish it weren't true, but so far my favorite is by Dr. Brandt. So you, that's obviously more expensive than the drugstores. It's not a night or day difference though. So if it doesn't appeal to you to spend more, then don't because you'll be disappointed. But I'll try this one and see how good it is. I also got their hydrating water essence. I love skincare. I love skincare and makeup, so I buy it. This is news. This is new news. I need hydration. I need essence. Seems highly liquidy. Sometimes it can be confusing whether by essence somebody means toner, and I'm not sure on this one. This would definitely, it's got a nice little smell to it. I think they actually, I think it is an essence. Yeah, it's an essence, not a toner but it would definitely be the first essence you'd want to use. That feels really nice. I'm really excited to try this out because it's so watery that like I have other types of essences that are a lot thicker and heavier. And if I use them first, I don't think this one would get applied at all. Should I have looked at the micellar water? Probably should have. Oh God, I love this color. Love so much. Love so much. The micellar water. Yeah, I didn't think that would tell me much but I will try it. I think the packaging, I mean, it is cheap. It's just cheap plastic packaging, but that's a really chic looking cheap plastic packaging. It's like the chicest. I got their cleansing cloths because why not? I haven't tried them. I use cleansing cloths. Why shouldn't I use them? And I got the facial massager. <sighs> because I don't know if you're gonna get it, get it on sale, right? Yeah, it just is to massage yourself with it. What can I say? I'm a curious person. You know, e.l.f. doesn't do me wrong. I think that's why I'm so addicted. They're definitely one of my favorite brands. I get the super most excited for them. I don't know what the heck is. Anyway. I don't think you're supposed to use it with full makeup on anyway, so we'll just put that down. But that was my e.l.f. haul. Two different purchases full of e.l.f. stuff I'm super excited to like. Of their skin color that I've used so far, I really have liked it. I think that it is excellent for its price point. I think especially if you can get it on sale like I did with this, that is super excellent for its price point. Um, I don't think that I've gotten anything that I've just been like... At worst, their worst sin is just not being special, is that it's not necessarily as good as that high-end fancy thing that you have. It's not necessarily as fancy as special does as much, but it is great basic skincare. Great with a capital G and a number eight. That's that. Three foundations, lots of skincare, lots of makeup, much haul. Bye!